Time to be done with these. I don't need them. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. Nothing. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Things are finally going my way. Do, 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 do. That egg should be ready in just a second. Save my dinner for later. Well, it's well, it's, well, it's Thanksgiving time, and huh. someone at the door, I guess I'll go get it. <sighs> yes, I better get that door. Oh, hey, it's, oh, hey, it's thank you. Hello, I'm back in time for Thanksgiving. So, where's Pepito? Wait, what? I am so lost. I shouldn't have gone back for chocolate milk. I probably better go find my son. Well, I guess we have a tip. To do a review today, as always, today's film is called Pilgrim. Okay. Yo, Pilgrim. Can you come, can you, can you bring your ship this way and help me do some cooking in the kitchen? Okay, sure. Come along, Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Okay, sure. So I have these lovely, fabulous fresh beets. Okay, sure. Will these work for us? Uh, sure, I, I guess. I'm thinking they will be delicious, just like the pilgrims used to eat. How we cook, how do we uh, cut them or get them ready? Mm -hmm. Probably we cut their tails off. Okay. Or is that their heads? This is getting very morbid, but okay. Well, we cut something off. Okay. Maybe they're balls. Okay, um, I'm gonna cut some. Cut the balls off the beads. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, we cut the balls off the beet. Okay. Like this. Okay. Um. Yeah, like that. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. Cut them like that. Now slice them into little pieces like that. 
Can I be a Frank while we're talking about oh, this? Oh, I might need to cook. All right, skip that. Now, let's take them and what we've got mm -hmm. here. I know how we do it. Ooh, oh, no, no, no. Put that down. All right. <clears throat> Grab that big old pot. All right. Got water in it. Yeah, got water in it. Okay. This is good. This big old pot here, we're going to use to cook these here beets. So we put the beets in the pot like that. Okay. Okay. Put the rest of the feathers in there like that. Mm hmm. Got the water in. Uh -huh. I guess. Do we need to put this lid on? Perhaps so. I guess so, so it doesn't boil. Okay. Then we'll set it and we'll forget it for a second. Okay. okay Just sure. for a second. We got to set it right here and we're going to put it in the oven. Can you do that? Put it in the oven. While we're doing this, can I be frank? Yes. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm still being. Uh, still think those you know how you said that vacuum cleaners don't really talk yes i think that it's happening again we talked about this before rosie does not talk she's a deaf mute vacuum cleaner she does not talk to people we're gonna have to have you sing or her sing by the closest maytag man I know she's just doing this because she wants a hot date with Ma Maytag. I know. But trust me, Rosie is not talking to you. You're, you're probably right. You're probably right. I, I guess I guess since this is the, the, in here now, I, I while we're waiting, I guess I'll go ahead and go watch the parade. I, I think it's almost ready. Can you see? Oh, be careful. Hey, use the hot pot to get them out. Here, get the little, that one. Yeah, don't forget the duck hand. <clears throat> Ooh, Still having. Okay, I'll. Still having. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, get, take the lid off with your thing. <clears throat> Perfect. Those look. Scrumptious. All right, now get the beaters. Because they are beets. I guess you beat them because they say they're beets. Why wouldn't you beat them if they're not beets? Okay, you got them? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So now we're all finished with that. Uh-huh. So what's your next plan after after cooking Thanksgiving dinner? Um, I might help I go watch the parade and take my mind off of inanimate objects talking to me. Okay, that would be good. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I guess I will too. Okay. All right. Sing, sing. Wait, no. What? So are you going to go and you're going to watch the parade? Huh? Yeah, I guess I'll go do that then. Yeah, I understand. That boy, that boy. I tell you, I don't know what's wrong with him. He thinks inanimate objects talk to him. He's just lunatic -y. Okay. And so, and this is Fred. Fred talks to me. Hey, Fred, how you doing? Anyway, I better go watch a movie now. Did I say a, a movie? Uh, a movie? A movie. Mom is right. I really need to take this stuff. I mean, this all started back a few years ago by now. Let's let's get all let's get all let's get this darn old damn review started. Let's just get right into it. The latest film is called Pilgrim. I know what you're probably thinking this hat does not go along with this jacket. Green and purple do not match. But unfortunately, that's the only top hat that kind of has.
what? Today is today. Today is, of course, Thanksgiving. Today, we're going to do all that stuff. Thing. We're going to get the ham, we're going to eat the turkey, and all that great stuff. But today's film is a horror film. Huh. A holiday horror film? Well, there's a lot of that. But a Thanksgiving horror film? Well, this uh, horror film called Pilgrim comes from the great, well, TV uh, anthology series, Into the Dark, which is produced by Blumhouse TV Productions. Um, and it was released through uh, Hulu. In this film, and yeah, like I said, Into the Dark was a, is a series, anthology series, and each each season is based on holiday, uh, 12 months, well each month when it had been like a holiday and all that. And so this one is Pilgrim. The film was directed by Marcus Dunstan. And if you've heard of Marcus Dunstan, he also wrote this film and directed it. And, and if you do not know, he was the writer for quite a few of the Saw films. So yeah, uh, this film does have a bit of gore to it, a ton of it. Basic, what was so? What was the plot of uh, Pilgrim? In the plot of Pilgrim, basically a family basically ha gets has uh, visitors, and the well reenactment actors who are pilgrims, but in the way, who are trying to teach them like to say this is a true meaning of the holiday and be grateful and all that stuff. But they seem to go crazy with their, you know, uh, roles and all that. So the cast for this film includes, or series, Pierre Smith as Shane, Regan Edward, Rain Edwards as Cody, Peter Giles as Ethan, Courtney Hingler as Ann Baker, Ty Springer as Finn, Antonio Roll, Corbin, Corb, Antonio, Roll Corbo as Tate. So, I gotta say, well, there is like at times, in all honesty, when it comes to horror, like a lot of it is basically around like say Valentine's Day, and also Christmas, and sometimes the holidays. But the two holidays that sometimes you don't really see them for is Thanksgiving and also well Independence Day too I'd say. Well although there is a horror film involving uh or Independence Day involving a killer uh Uncle Sam. But we're not talking about that film. We're talking about Pilgrim. Pilgrim I gotta say it's on the level of well the concept idea is intriguing. It tries not to take itself so serious in a way. Because, you know, like, say, you know, this idea is dumb. So, you know, they try to take it, they try to have fun with it. And all, and all I see, it can be kind of fun, honestly. Especially with the actor who's playing the lead pilgrim, Ethan. He is just having so much fun like, literally, the actor is just chewing the scenery. But there's a moment where he's just, like, say, where he's just talking, like, say, like, what's wrong? Are you okay? What's wrong? It's just Thanksgiving. Are you not grateful? <laughs> like, those are some moments where he's just having, like, say, like, moments like when the actor gets to go from, like, say, a 5 to a 10. They, he is just having so much fun, I feel like, in this role. And honestly, I'd say the, uh, go the goreness of the film is, I'd say, it's middle ground. It can be crazy. Like, say, one of the moments that I can say, okay, I'm not really going to say, like, you know, like, give, like, say, uh, show clips, because I'm really thinking, like, say, I'm not really sure how 
Hulu and uh, what was it? Oh yeah, uh, you know, Blumhouse and all that. People I can like say, okay, this guy, we're going to have to send a comment strike on this guy. So yeah, the, one of my favorite lines is like when the dad, the mom, and Cody, they are all fighting back. And they are fighting like one of the pilgrims, and they get all get weapons, and if they all start beating the heck out of one of the pilgrims again, it's like, and then I guess like, after breathing the water, did we just kill as a family? This, I mean, the film it just has is just so over the top that it's silly. Uh, there's a moment where they say, uh. Like, I feel like, say, the writer Mark has just thought, okay, I need to go back to the Saw series and use a bit of a torture device. Like, there was a sequence with the, uh, daughter, Cody. She is strapped to basically a chair and gets dumped into the pool. <laughs> and each time, uh, Ethan goes, like, say, are you not grateful? And then she goes, like, say, no. Basically, basically say I'm drowning. If he's, if basically he's like, fine, I'm grateful. If he just, <laughs> uh, like say, like say some of the final kills are actually kind of fun. Uh, I like, I like the twist of the film. Like in the beginning of the film, uh, Cody is. Has like a witch bone, and she just like say, say, you know, I hope this whole reenactment thing blows up, blows up. I hope it blows up in my mom's face. And yep, it kind of does, cause the reenactment actors are crazy. And yeah, like one of the like most like silliest lines, though. Is when Ethan goes like say he is like all the women are shucking corn, which is like you know like getting all the uh like leaves off it. I don't know. And then he goes like now get to shucking. <laughs> it, it's just so over the top silly in all honesty. <laughs> uh, but it's like say any great horror film, The Family is able to fight back, and they do. Like, say, near the end of the film, it suddenly turns into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, in a way. Like, where, like, say, it's revealed, like, the, da like, the dad is now, like, say, if, you, if you've been, if you pay attention to the film, yeah, you kind of know what you're going to be expecting, in all honesty, where... Like when they bring out the turkey and all of the big force feasts, it's the dad's the head on a silver platter. So yeah, it, it's just so silly. And honestly, it's it's gruesome, but it's just like say, you know, it's, it's kind of silly. Uh, at one point, uh, like say during the film, uh, Ethan says like say, okay, well. I really don't want to spoil the twist, but if I'm going to go with the spoilers. Five, four, three, two, one. So, uh, Cody is telling, oh wait, no wait, it's Tate. Tate is a young boy, and he almost eats some berries, which were some poisonous, but Cody, the ever smart girl, she decides to put them in the jam. Like, you know, I would say the cranberry sauce. Which all the programs eat, and all that. So they all get poisoned and all that. Yeah, it, it, this film, like this, in the final kill, is actually pretty great. Uh, Ethan basically runs out of the house, goes, like, "Oh, I'm poisoned!" And then yeah, he does. And then the kid goes like, "Say, oh, you're being blasphemous now, aren't you?" And then basically, she does the same kill that Ethan's 
uh, I guess, lover patience, uh, you, does only the dad. So, yeah, she, you know, chops, goes chop, chop, chop. And it's revealed through a twist that Ethan also had a wishbone. So, I, I have a theory. I think that the reenactment actors, they had actually taken the place of the real reenactment actors. Or perhaps so. Perhaps, like, the reenactment actors probably just probably were probably you know, killed, like, say, in the film The Visit, perhaps? Who knows? I think that would be kind of awesome to talk to the writer and director and, like, ask them these questions. But, I hope you all have enjoyed this one. This is probably, like, the longest video we've probably done. Hopefully you all have enjoyed it. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I'll see you next time. Hello, Elizabeth. I thought I could touch your face again. I miss you around the holidays. Hey, kid. Oh, hey, thank you. I know you miss her. Now I hear you talk about her in your sleep sometimes. She was only a woman I ever loved. I mean, you could just give her a call. I mean, it is Thanksgiving, after all. Just give her a call. You don't know until you try, kid. You know what? You're right, Vacuum. You're right. H Hello, Elizabeth? Oh. Oh, you're m her mother? She what? Man, it's not your fault. This illness has affected everyone. It is not your fault. I can't believe it. I don't 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 believe it. I can't. I don't believe it. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I have to back him. I have to. I have to take these. I have to take these. I have to take to clean my mind. My. The psychiatrist says so. There. There. It's, it's done. It's, it's done. I'm sorry to back you. Three days after learning about Elizabeth, I decided to go to the beach to reflect on my life. It was cold and the sand was harsh. I hate sand. And I mentioned <laughs> it's cold. Fuck, it's cold. You're probably thinking they like, can't mostly like when any same person was be thinking. What the heck was this episode about? Well, this episode was trying to be uh, making, like, sort of like a tribute or, you know, looking back at holiday specials from the 80s and the 90s. So, there's that tidbit. So, um, I want to say this and everyone from the rest, from also the rest of the crew and, you know, the writer and also both the creator and I. We're going to want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Be safe, everyone. If you have the opportunity, go get your shot. Go get your shot. Whether it's the booster or your first dose. Please, everyone, be safe out there. We love you all. And don't forget, 
we have a very special episode coming tomorrow just for you all thank you and i and i want to wish you all a happy thanksgiving and now i'm gonna go get some ham i'll see y'all later Ha, 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 ha.